Welcome back to the Solar Promoter YouTube channel and welcome to a special uh, reveal episode of um, my uh, new championship wrestling from Hollywood bootleg set that I, I produced. Um, uh, and um, before we get going, I want to thank all of the subscribers for being here. I want to thank you for watching this video and a big shout out to all our Golden Circle channel members uh, for help uh, making the videos on this channel possible. Uh, I would like to uh, send a special shout out uh, to Werner Meek, who did the artwork uh, for all these cards, and you're going to see the artwork is pretty amazing. And a special shout out to Zeke Gould, who did all the stats for this. Uh, shout out to Ty States, who helped with uh, uh, one of the wrestlers here and helped did a little uh, proofreading for that. And to Chad and Corey Olson uh, for helping um, uh, do the... Uh, do, help doing proofreading. Uh, so if you've been watching the forums and everything, the first name is not, uh, uh, these three names will not be a surprise to you, uh, but the first name is Jordan Clearwater, and he was an NWA TV champion. He was also United Wrestling Network champion, um, and you can see he's got a 5-2 pin rating. He's got a Midas Touch plus one. He also has an, uh, an add one move as well, uh, so pretty strong defense here. Now, one thing I will say, I'm a little disappointed because uh, this card, I had trouble getting into a plastic sleeve. Um, and uh, it's it's so, the size difference on these Jordan Clearwater cards are so minute uh, that it's really crazy to me that it won't, uh, it won't go into a sleeve. As you can see, it's kind of in here, it's a little bent. Uh, but I think once you get, I was able, I had to try a couple different plastic sleeves and then I finally found one that it fit in. And I think that once it's kind of like pressed uh, on other cards and kind of lays flat, it should be fine. Um, so I apologize for that. If you were somebody who uh, is a little OCD about how the cards fit into there, I don't know what it is because I even stacked this card up with a couple of the other cards and there's I cannot feel any difference on either side. Uh, but it must just be so slight. What I might do is my wife has a really... Uh, like it's like a scrapbook cutter, and I may just, I may, if I can get the measurement just right, just take off a thing. Um, but unfortunately, until I get them reprinted again, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. So if that ruins your set of free bootlegs, I apologize. You have my deepest apologies. But anyway, we've got uh, Jordan Clearwater as the first one here. Uh, the next name is Zeta Zhang. I think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, so, uh, she is our, um, women wrestler for this fed. She has, uh, um, um, three possible finishers, uh, the Z break, which is a zero finisher, the Zhang bang, which is a plus one finisher. And the, from a to Z, 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 um, I think that's how you say that. Uh, and, uh, that is a plus one finisher as well. So when you roll, uh, bring the bang, you, uh, her finisher, you roll one die and then it'll be one of these. Uh, three finishers. Uh, she's got a 6-3 rating, so she'd be pretty tough. And um, yeah, just uh, great artwork again by Werner. Uh, he really did an amazing job on this. And uh, this card fits perfectly in the sleeves, so I am not 100% sure what is happening. All right, so the next card is Shane Haste from The Mighty Don't Kneel. And um, Shane Hayes and Mikey Nichols were a tag team uh, that were in championship wrestling from Hollywood a while ago. Uh, but now he is back and he is teaming with um, Bad Dude Tito and Shea Cabrera as the Mighty Zaddies. Uh, so um, these these cards will work uh, pretty well with Shane's. They kind of do like a Freebirds uh, tag team thing where uh, you never know kind of who you're going to face. Uh, lots of different combinations here uh, for a tag team. So uh, Shane Haste is, uh, with one card, we make a couple different tag teams. And so that is really awesome. And uh, according to Zeke, he's teamed with other people in other card sets. So um, you can uh, you can use him there as well. Again, his card fits perfectly into the plastic sleeves. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, now, the final name, the name uh, that uh, I'm not releasing until River Rumble or until this video, is an update, and it is an update from a Championship Wrestling from Hollywood uh, card set, Act 2, uh, and that is Peter Avalon. Pretty Peter Avalon, uh, this is his card. You may know him from AEW, um, where I think he had a librarian gimmick for a while, but now he's just wrestling as 
uh, Peter Avalon, and a pretty Peter Avalon. And uh, he's got a 5-2. Uh, he's got uh, Martinis as his finisher. Um, and so this, uh, you can still see he's still got the members only jacket. Um, but this is more of a, um, not a tag team card. This is a single rest, singles wrestler card as opposed to uh, the tag team card here. Uh, so uh, very cool um, to finally have him. Uh, let me tell you, in my time working with Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, and even since I've been away, I know how important Peter Avalon is to um, to to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, and how much Dave Marquez, uh, you know, just loves him, and uh, he is really like a Championship Wrestling from Hollywood original, and uh, so so nice uh, to get a card. And I will say, he was so excited to to let us do this. And um, he should have actually, as I'm recording this, he should be getting his cards today uh, that I sent him. So uh, I thought, uh, I'm just very happy that he uh, is in there. So I'm gonna do kind of a classic match here. I'm gonna do Pretty Peter Avalon versus Willie Mack. Uh, these two have, um, have met a few times uh, in championship wrestling from Hollywood. Uh, and I thought this would be a good match to kind of uh, cap off this uh, video. Uh, so Pretty Peter Avalon will be red, Willie Mack will be blue, and Peter Avalon going to start things off here. Uh, three, Step Up in Zaguri. Two, three, that's a hurt two on Willie Mack. Four, uh, Choice E, let's see, Willie Mack's uh, agility is a negative one, but he's going to go for it. Needs an eight or less. Ooh, uh, no, Willie Mack reverses it. Uh, three, into the turnbuckle. Pretty Peter Avalon has a B. Rolls a seven into the turnbuckle uh, on his B. Smashed by a big kick opponent rolls on level two offense. Running clothesline two. Four, Peter Avalon reverses it on level one with a forearm smash. Willie Mack reverses it uh, with a running clothesline. Uh, five, that is a hurt two on Peter Avalon. Into the turnbuckle again. Avalon whipped into the turnbuckle and has a four. B4, bounce forward. Catches Willie Mack with a skull splitting lariat. And Willie Mack's going to roll on level three. And he rolls his pin. Target two. Roll seven. So he kicks out. Peter Avalon uh, with a single leg crab. Willie Mack able to power out of that. Running clothesline two. Five. Hurts two. Four. Into the ropes. Uh, no. Uh, Willie Mack is going to roll up instead. Uh, four. Corkscrew elbow two. Three. Down three. Peter Avalon's down. Four. Standing moonsault three. Five. Hurts two. Uh, two. Big wiggy slam two. Six. Hurts two. Ooh, there's a rip tire cannonball three. Uh, five. Hurts two. Uh, into the turnbuckle, pretty uh, Peter Avalon going into the turnbuckle again. Again, rolls a five. Uh, he has a B, so he lifts the knee into the oncoming opponent's head. Uh, he is hurt. Roll on level two offense. So uh, a reversal there by Peter Avalon. Uh, again, choice E needs an eight or less to make this happen. Gets it. Willie Mack is hurt. And uh, there is a Harlem kick. Two, five, hurts, two, six, tornado DDT, three, down three. Willie Max not going to leave the ring. Uh, Peter Avalon not going to throw him out of the ring. Uh, there's another Harlem kick. Uh, that is a hurt, two, four, choice E again. So eight or less. No, Willie Mack able to reverse it. Five, exploder suplex. He rolls a choice E. And, ooh, he'll need a seven or less. He's going to go for it. Does not get it. Peter Avalon able to reverse it. Tornado DDT, three, five. That's Willie Max pin. Target three. Roll is a nine. Peter Avalon uh, hits a fireman's carry flapjack. Six, hurts two. Three, into the ropes. When Willie Mack is thrown into the ropes, roll one die. On a roll of one, Willie Mack hits pounce. Three, add one. Uh, this can happen. I, I, he's got an A, so he is not going to risk it. He is going to roll up instead. And he rolls a four, vertical suplex. Power move, though. Willie Mack has the power. So into the turnbuckle again goes Peter Avalon. Uh, six, seven, eight, smashed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two. Uh, choice E again. So he will need a seven. Uh, gets a seven. He gets it. Peter Avalon. Uh, five, hurts two, six, rip tire cannonball, six, down three. Avalon will leave the ring, uh, and he rolls a B. 
Um, a B7, and he crawls helplessly back in. Willie Mack, uh, ooh, hits the six-star frog splash. It's a zero finisher, so the target two. The roll is a six. Willie Mack, um, Willie Mack will roll again on level three. Four, standing moonsault, three. One, down three. Leg drop, three. Five, hurts, two. Uh, big wiggy slam, two. Five, hurts, two. Six, rip tire cannonball, four, hurts, two. Uh, into the ropes, not going to go into the ropes, going to roll up instead. Six, flying knee strikes, three, an agility move. Avalon has the agility. Uh, he rolls choice E, needs an eight or less. He gets it. Willie Mack, uh, three, down three. Um, not going to throw him out of the ring, going to roll up. Butterfly suplex, three, four, hurts, two. Uh, into the ropes, not going to throw him into the ropes, going to roll up instead. Four, vertical suplex, two, power move. Mac reverses with the big wiggy slam, two, four. Peter Avalon reverses, uh, three, step up in Zaguri, two, five, hurts, two, five. Butterfly suplex, three, four, hurts, two. Uh, drop kick, two, five, hurts, two. Four, uh, again, going to go for the agility move. Eight or less gets it. Willie Mack is rolling a Hertz two. There's the Tornado DDT. Two, Hertz two. Five, Butterfly Sluplex. Three, down three. Willie Mack not leaving the ring. Uh, Split-legged Moonsault. Three, three, down three. Five, Fireman's Carry Flapjack. Three, down three. Uh, he can't hit that Martini's. Single leg crab two. Willie Mack is down. Uh, choice H. So what is his death jump? Is a B. And um, let's see. Death jump or power, which is a negative two. So he's going to go for the death jump. His death jump is a B. Avalon going up. It is a B9. Blast you with a flying clothesline. Rolls on level three offense. Single leg crab two. One hurts two. Three, into the ropes. Nope, not going to, because he's not going to risk that uh, that uh, add one move there. Into the turnbuckle, throws Willie Mack into the turnbuckle. B7, smashed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, so there is a Harlem kick. Two, one, hurts two. Six, tornado DDT. Three, one, down three. Three, out of the ring. He's not going to throw him out of the ring. Drop kick, two. One, hurts two. Six, tornado DDT, three, five. That is his pin. Uh, target is four. Roll is a seven. And Avalon follows that up with a split-legged moonsault. Two, hurts two. What a match here. Into the ropes. Uh, no, he's not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up. Three, step up in Zaguri, two. Uh, six, Willie Mack reverses it. Exploder Suplex Choice E needs a seven or less to make this happen. Does get it. Avalon in trouble. Three. He's going to roll his pin. Target three. Roll is a nine. Willie Mack follows it up with a six-star frog splash. Four is the target. Seven is the roll. Willie Mack with the stunner. Roll one die on a roll of six. No. So it's just a stunner. So uh, five is the target. Oh, no, six. Pretty Av uh, Peter Avalon able to kick out. Seated blockbuster, choice G. Uh, whoa, his power is a three, so he's going to go for that. This will work on an 11 or less. It does. Avalon in trouble. Six, down three. He's going to leave the ring. He has a B, but rolls a 12. Uh, so that will be a count out um here so the target six seven he just makes it back in in time willie mack with a standing moonsault down three is peter avalon leg drop three three that's the pin is this leg drop gonna get him seven is the target and yes that is it uh so avalon loses but what an incredible match there ladies and gentlemen the kind of match you would expect from these two so there you have it folks thank you so much for watching um i hope you enjoy your new cards uh you can download a pdf of these cards uh that you can take and have printed out uh at the um printer of your choice um i may after river L rumble have a couple cards left so if you if you want one um if you want a set uh send me an email at grant at throwing and i just might be able to help you out 
Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. 